Jensen. I... I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you, I got this one. I know. I, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. This autopsy report. Once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can... improvise. You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it along with a few other things concerning Evelyn in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poison, right from the start. Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... innocent. Tell me about Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot, too. Knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Too bad her talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. Okay, I'll help. 
What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengsha Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's... incident? Newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Can't you see I'm busy? Go bother someone else. Death and life have their determined appointments. What? Oh, uh, and riches and honors depend upon heaven. Very good. Right, what now? Shh! They have eyes and ears everywhere. Meet me outside the clinic. Turn left from the front and go down the stairs. I'll be waiting at the corner. Here. Come on now. I'm relieved to know they sent a professional, at least. That makes two of us. Right. Well, though not exactly what I was expecting. I was told I would be meeting a girl. How do I know you're not an imposter or some sort of double agent? Don't think I don't know this could all just be an elaborate trap to set me up. Look, no offense, Mr. X, or whatever your name is, but I really don't have time for this. So if you could simply just give me what I came for, I'll be on my way. Yes, yes. I have it right here. Evelyn Carmichael's autopsy report. Here. Take it. Thank you. I trust you will put this information to good use. Because accountability and justice is at an all-time low, I'm afraid. It pains me to see this once great city, which stood as a bastion for reform and progress against our oppressive communist origins, succumb to the trappings of corporate bureaucracy and petty corruption. Corruption so often typical of your Western governments. Whatever you say. Now, if you don't mind, I really must be going. Well, there is still the matter of my payment. One thousand credits was the agreed-upon price, I believe. Isn't that right? And what were you just saying about corruption? A deal is a deal. Surely your handlers informed you of this little detail. No, my handlers failed to mention this little detail. It, never mind. Just take your money. This report better be worth it. Oh, I assure you it is. 
Whoever it was that didn't want this information given to the proper authorities paid a lot of money to have it ignored. A pity for them, limb policy strictly prohibits deletion of records concerning operational procedures. For legal purposes, you see. Legal, right. Nice doing business with you, X. Malik, I just got the autopsy report. No drugs or alcohol in Evelyn's system. And her estimated time of death doesn't fit Lee's story. She did die from a head wound, but not one that matches the evidence found at the scene. I knew it. It couldn't have been just an accident. There's more. Evelyn was pregnant. Malik? I'm here. I... We can't let him get away with this, Jensen. He's guilty. He has to be. Can you go to his apartment? And do what? Get proof. Get... something. I'm sending you the coordinates. Contact me again when you're there. Malik, I'm inside Lee's apartment. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Damn. Okay, look. Lee isn't smart enough to properly cover his tracks, so look around. Maybe you can find something suspicious. Access granted. Malik, it looks like Hong Sr. was upset with Hong Jr.'s behavior and threatened to cut off his inheritance if he didn't stop whoring around. Sounds like he considered Evelyn beneath the family name. And if he knew she was pregnant, I... I can't believe Lee would do something like that just for money. Speaking of money, the Hong family seems heavily invested in both Bell Tower and Lim. That could explain the cover-up and lack of a proper investigation. I'll keep looking. I'm sure there's more here. Malik, I think I got a probable murder weapon. A broken clock. The kicker is the hands line up roughly with Evelyn's TOD. Coincidence? That's a hell of a stretch. You really think? If Lee's as dumb as you say, maybe. We'd need lab tech analysis to confirm, but if there ever was a smoking gun, it fits. I'll stick around a bit. I'm sure there's still more to find. Lee would be there. It's pretty much a second home for him. Wait a minute, you heard that? Sorry, Jensen. I don't like invading your privacy like this, but it's important. Plus, this gives me an idea. When you're done looking around Lee's apartment, head to the Hive. Contact me when you're there. I'll make one last sweep to make sure I got everything. Malik, I found a baseball bat, but it looks clean. Almost like it's been washed recently. Maybe Lee washed Evelyn's blood off of it. That's what I'm thinking. 
but I'm not sure it could inflict the type of laceration she had. Okay, I think that's it. I'm heading to the hive now. I doubt we'll find anything else in here without calling in a forensics team. Sounds good. What do you want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, it's off! I already told all you narcos all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. Alright. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh yeah? And why's that? Because the police report itself was falsified. Why else would that be, if not to cover up a weak alibi? Man, you gotta be kidding me. That's some weak ass shit right there. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident, and the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. We both know that isn't true. Man, that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit, and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? She told you she was pregnant, and you panicked. Faced with the prospect of losing your easy way of life, you struck out at her in anger. How? That's impossible. But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Lim. Your family's sizable investments in Lim assured the autopsy performed on Evelyn's body would never see the light of day, and her death would simply fall through the cracks of an already crumbling justice system. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. Alright, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth, but the dumb bitch started freaking out! So I hit her again and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and, and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice! She trapped me! She just wanted my money! I would have been ruined. I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen. I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. 
Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. All right, Malik. It's hacked. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was gonna use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you gonna do now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't gonna buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Are you facing the hive? It's almost showtime. In three, two... Malik. Just watch. I don't... I don't know. Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She's going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Malik, remind me never to piss you off. After everything you've done here for Evelyn, for me, you'd have to try pretty hard, mister.